Hey, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different uh, type of pace. It's going to be a topical or whatnot type uh, issue or whatnot. I usually kind of stick to reviews, movies, video games, and manga or comics and other leisurely pursuits. But this time I'm going to get a little bit more serious in, uh, you know, about self-image, self-esteem, and whatnot. And um, we're talking about, uh, what if Barbie was real? Uh, this topic always kind of irked me ever since this issue was first brought up to me in 8th grade. I remember this because a girl in my class named Carly, a uh, beautiful girl, a uh, very smart, strong uh, woman who, uh, she, she lives a uh, fucking Mary Sue walking around. She <laughs> everything perfectly, you know. Just, you know, those kind of super people, you know. And, uh, glass of milk. Um, and, uh, she uh, had a project, and uh, I forget what it was, I think it was science or something, and how, uh, you know, the double standards of what is beauty for men and women, and how women are supposed to keep up uh, uh, a maintenance on their beauty, while men such as Jack Nicholson, who are 70 plus some years old and can let themselves go and they're still considered a sex symbol and stuff like that, while women always have to strive to uh, holding their bodies and beauty and makeup regimens and stuff like that. And uh, one of the topics she brought up was Barbie, if Barbie was real. Now this uh, topic always, as again I said, irked me as to, uh, uh, one, it's a fucking toy <laughs> for little girls to play with, and two, uh, of course the features are going to be exaggerated. Uh, exaggerated features, uh, I bring up because uh, on different reports and different whatever projects made by today's high school girl who thinks she's shaking up the... Femin femina movement because you know you know breaking the walls off image you know this isn't true beauty and whatnot was that ball uh, if Barbie was real she'd be seven foot two and her neck would be a foot long and she'd be a triple F cup and her waist would be I don't know <laughs> you could put my fucking child like hands around it you know like it was nothing and uh, I'm just saying that. Uh, you know, it, it, it is an issue to talk about, about self-image and what uh, society conceives what is beauty and, you know, what is beauty. But it's still, there is equivalence for men as well. And when it comes to feminism, I'm not the biggest supporter in it. Certain forms of it. I am all for empowering and making women strong, independent, beautiful creatures. And uh, it just, you know, it, it just, you know... With feminists, they always have to announce this, you know. They can't simply just do it. And uh, it's always now, you know, feminism, uh, a motion, uh, feminism, a movement to equalize uh, rights for both sexes, but yet it focuses on just one. Uh, and it kind of dabbles into some misandry, but here, uh, where was I? Uh, there's equivalent for men, you know, with the G.I. Joe toys and... Uh, other toys with men with massive pecs and abs and stuff like that. And me not being that type of guy, being a geek growing up, you know, being indoors and, you know, junking on junk food and growing up as a fat kid. I'm still fat as it is. Uh, I'm 300 and some pounds now. My average was always like 195, 200. Uh, you know, just that kind of, you know, Seth Rogen type fat. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, the past couple of years, something that was on antidepressants, Paxil, and I didn't realize that Paxil makes you, it slows down your meta metabolism, and it makes you fatter. <laughs> so, yay. And, uh, you know, I'm off that now. But back to the topic at hand, you know, that's that about self-image and self-esteem and what, you know, what is considered beautiful, what is considered handsome and stuff like that. Not all men are Edward Cullen from Twilight. Not all men are Conan the Barbarian. Not all men are Superman. We're not all clean-cut and handsome-looking, you know? And, uh, you know, and, and just, like, you can always play that up to advantage. I could play up that whole Beauty and the Beast type <laughs> uh, beast up advantage if I wanted to, but, you know. Uh, it just, it, it just, when, every time this is brought up, I always have to roll my eyes. It's like, I fucking get it. I know it's not realistic. One, it's a fucking toy to, meant for little girls, and, you know, stuff, things like that. I say you know a lot. I'm sorry, I'm, my redundancies uh, uh, of using that phrase. Um, 
it just yeah, uh, it's just that uh, <clears throat> when it comes in and every time uh, any type of man who chimes into something that where feminists complain uh, complain something that is sexist and stuff like that I am automatically disqualified because simply I have a penis that is it it's just you know uh, and there's other people who are self-loathing males like movie Bob and uh <laughs> <laughs> who's also a self-loathing uh, white liberal. Uh, that's another thing with old reparations and stuff. That's different, but, um, these are semi-touchy subjects, which are open up debate. Uh, please try to be civil in the discussions, you know. I respect women. My mom's a strong uh, woman with values like that, though she does recognize there are certain gender roles that need to be filled in for day-to-day -day life to make life functional and things like that. And, uh, it's just, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, I apologize for my redundancy, I just want to talk. <laughs> it, I always say it's a toy meant for little girls, for an analog, for stuff like that, though, you know. Uh, please chime in, what do you think, what do you feel, uh, have you heard of this, uh, this uh, idea, not idea, but uh, uh, obser observation, I don't know what to call it, of if Barbie was real. That's going to be the name of the title in quotes, if Barbie was real. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, peace out.